everybody. It's 11 a.m. and it's Monday, and this is Josh Ellsworth from Stalls and Stalls TV, and welcome back, hopefully, to our Making It Together live educational events, which we've been hosting uh, weekdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the last five days. This will be day number six. Uh, we are on uh, week two of these events and we appreciate everybody uh, taking the time to to join us. So uh, we are broadcasting in a new way. Um, if you haven't uh, noticed that by now, I am out of my spare bedroom from home here in Pennsylvania. And as I like to say, the show must go on and it will go on. So I've set up a small studio here in my space. Um, I'm sincerely missing my uh, camera guy, Joe, who's always such a great help, but he'll still be working from home as well. Uh, editing videos that we're shooting throughout the day from our home studios. And, and Jenna has a uh, setup, um, not exactly like mine. She did her own little style to it. And so maybe you'll get to see that one uh, sometime later this week as we trade off and then try to figure out the software. So perhaps we can both be on uh, remotely together and perhaps even bring in some special guests as we continue this. So um, this is new for me. I'm seeing some folks' names uh, that are shouting out and saying good morning. So Mike, good morning from Canada. Uh, great to see you. Eric, good morning. Great to see you this morning. And we're broadcasting through a new software called StreamYard. And so for in order for me to see your name when you comment, um, you have to um, kind of click the link and do what it says and allow your Facebook uh, to StreamYard to access your Facebook. Uh, but if you're not comfortable doing that, that's okay. You can still comment. And we have Danielle who will be watching those comments uh, from her location and uh, doing her best to reply. I just may not see your name and be able to address you by name uh, when your comment comes in because it won't give me your name until you accept that. So Laura, welcome from Iowa. I see you're here as well. So we have uh, we have some exciting things. Uh, plan for today. First off, let me talk a little bit about my setup for those of you who who may not have seen uh, me go live yesterday when I was testing this in our Heat Press for Profit Facebook group. Uh, I'd certainly recommend if you're not part of our Heat Press for Profit Facebook group, uh, if you're not watching it from there right now, that you would join that. It is a great community where you can have discussion during this challenging time, uh, collaborate with fellow business owners that are in the same position you are uh, and share ideas on how to uh, get sales. And there's a lot of other great uh, Facebook groups as well. So um, want to thank everybody for joining us. And let me talk about my equipment that I have behind me because uh, this is my exact setup. So I did have to load up my car and bring a lot of stuff home. Most of that stuff is on this side of the room that you can't see uh, where I have everything kind of crammed in and I uh, have my sample garments that I'm going to decorate. I have transfers, rolls of vinyl. Uh, I have lighting. So I have a nice setup on the other side behind the camera. But behind me, are equipment that was in my garage that I've owned uh, for the better part of four or five years uh, and have been utilizing. So for those of you that follow me uh, in that Heat Press for Profit group, you probably know that I uh, run my own little side hustle. I'm not extremely active with it. I do it just to uh, stay connected, kind of get into your shoes as an apparel decorator and, and really understand real life experience of what's happening. So uh, my wife and I decorate for my daughter's dance school and her um, small um, elementary slash middle school as well. Um, and then just occasional one-off things, but those are our core clients just to keep us connected, uh, myself connected to the product. So, um, a while back I chose to invest in the graph tech CE 6,000. So that'll be the vinyl cutter that I'll be using in my studio. When I come to you, it's one of, uh, my favorite vinyl cutters that in the Roland are great machines. And then I decided to invest in the Hotronics auto clam. And the reason why is I was operating in a very small space that was on a uh, landing pad where I have my refrigerator in the garage and I couldn't, uh, I didn't have the space for the swing away. Um, and I didn't want to just use the drawer because I typically don't like to move my item once I lay out my transfer. So the clam was a perfect fit uh, because it can go straight, it could go straight against the wall. And then I've connected it with the uh, heat press caddy, which can wheel around so I can watch uh, football when it was going on and all those things and wheel my press out into the kitchen area so I can see my living room TV. And so that's how um, I was pressing shirts. Um, now, when I went to set up in this studio, I brought all that equipment back. Um, it fits very nicely within the space and within really half of a, um, a room, I am able to bring my heat printing operation to you from my home and bring this education. And I want you to hear that point uh, because I think that's something that you need to be considering now. So I spent the majority, um, 
well, some of the weekend, I shouldn't say the majority, a lot of time over the weekend writing a survival guide for apparel decorators. So we are putting the finishing touches on that survival guide and then we'll be publishing it out everywhere. Hopefully tomorrow uh, is my hope that we can get it out the door uh, tomorrow so you all can read that. But one of the key points in there is uh, being able to take your work home. As we are operating around the country and around the world on forced closures by state with different criteria, uh, maybe it's um, based on life sustaining businesses or non essential businesses. And then there's a lot of uh, descriptions around that that you need to uh, kind of go through with your local authorities. It, it's going to become more important uh, to be able to have apparel decorating ability at home. So I know a lot of you um, are out of your home already, uh, but if you're not, you need to start making plans on. How can I continue to produce orders um, that are coming in uh, from home to be able to continue some revenue uh, in my business? So I would challenge you to think about that. And um, I think a heat press and a vinyl cutter is about the best way to do it because with the right inventory of heat transfer vinyl, you are just at that point reliant on your blank apparel supplier, which there are many in many states. Take a stock position on that vinyl, get your cutter, get your heat press, and make sure you design your art work uh, in mind that uh, you want it to be not so complicated that you can't weed it. However, saying that, I do want to inform you that uh, we are still manufacturing transfers in Arizona. We are still manufacturing screen printed transfers in Ohio. Um, we, we have moved a large percentage of our staff uh, in Ohio to work from home, um, but we were able to meet the criteria to be able to continue to operate in the state of Ohio. So we will still be producing transfers out of there as well as Arizona um, and shipping heat transfer vinyl from our uh, Michigan and Arizona facility. So as of right now, we're navigating the waters. We're still able to supply you with product and we're doing everything in our power behind the scenes to continue um, that supply chain to you. So we have a lot of people working on that. So want to welcome you folks from San Antonio, from Casa Grande, Arizona, from North Carolina, Washington, Mississippi, Bakersfield, California. We have a great crowd today. And so um, let me start by showing you something. So I think this is a great time to look at new product for your business. And uh, one of the newer products that we've launched um, that started to catch on is a product called uh, SimStitch. And SimStitch has been out for a while now, but now we are doing SimStitch in a pre-spaced format. And I'll explain to you what that means. So I'm gonna to try to get this up close. You can take a look at that. This is uh, tackle twill material. So it's a polyester based twill material with a simulated stitch on it. So you can kind of see that edge that looks like it's sewn when it really doesn't need to be sewn. It comes to you now from stalls.com. Uh, you just enter the player names that you want, the numbers that you want, or upload your design, and it comes pre-spaced, just as if it were a weeded heat transfer vinyl, but it's actually twill. So you remove the carrier backing that you see from it, and then you have your pre-spaced logo. You're just going to position that down onto your garment, heat apply, and remove the carrier. So the SimStitch product is a really cool product because it gives folks with just a heat press uh, whether it's in this challenging time now where you can't take your embroidery equipment home or you just haven't uh, taken the step with the know-how and the investment to have embroidery equipment, it gives you the ability to do an applique uh, result. And I think that's really cool that you can create this applique sort of middle tier to premium finish with just a heat press. So I always like to say, um, offer your customers a good, better, best um, so if you are doing traditional sewn applique, maybe that's in your best category. And then you have the uh, better, which can be the SimStitch product and the good, which can be a heat transfer vinyl product to establish three price points, allow your customer uh, the decision. So um, I wanted to point pre-space SimStitch out to you. And then I also uh, challenged you last week that this is a time to be creative, to, to try new things. And we hit our viewership goals last week where I was able to publish a hack for you. Um, you'll have to go back and watch that. I want to say that was Thursday, which would have been day four of our making it together. They're all recorded and available on our Facebook pages and our group. Um, but on that day, we showed you a hack with uh, a product called Stretch Litho, where we can actually cut screen printing ink uh, on our vinyl cutter with how we order this product. So try some new things. And in that vein, I want to show you something we did uh, for this event called Shirt Lab that was kind of different. And so Shirt Lab is a great conference um, that we sponsor uh, this coming year. Unfortunately, they had to delay their event 
in June, and the uh, they also have an event in October, uh, which I'll be attending personally, and they have some knockout speakers there that I can't wait to hear and interact with. Um, but they'll be doing a virtual event coming up too. So we sponsored um, that event, and I got to attend the one in Washington, D.C. Uh, last May, which was at, actually at the ballpark for the Washington Nationals. And so we made uh, jerseys with the pre-space sim stitch. And on those jerseys, we wanted to come up with something really cool. So not only did we do the sim stitch for the background so you could have the authentic look and I could just heat press it, but we created a reflective um, to go on top. And so we were going to be, we attended a night game and everybody wore their jerseys, at least most people that attended the conference. And it was just so cool to see people walking around and to see the stadium lights or even the headlights as you're walking in and out of the game. Uh, to hit those designs and have that reflectivity. It just added this really cool effect. And so um, it's just a different way to experiment. So try layering products on top of Twill, even standard heat transfer vinyl. Um, here's an example of one of the finished numbers we did. Um, so whether it, uh, this was a nine for number 19 on the back of the jersey for the year that we sponsored the event, but you can see the simulated stitch. And we actually laid the, the product down on a uh, non-stick cover sheet, a Teflon sheet, applied the reflective on top, and then we created a number that we could position and press um, right at the heat press with our laser alignment. So experiment, try new things, just trying to inspire you that way and encourage you um, to do some of that. So of course, we're coming to you live. If you have questions uh, throughout this event, uh, feel free to ask them. I'll stop and answer questions at several times. We're planning to be together um, to about 11.50 uh, or so Eastern Standard Time. And in prepping for this event, um, I thought, what is the what are some of the information uh, that I can give to help you uh, not only to make orders most profitable right now, but to be able to prepare to uh, print from home potentially. And then also, um, if you're not at that stage, just to be able to think about your business and establish a print formula when we come out of this, that's going to drive uh, simplicity and profit um, into your business. So I've been working on a concept for a while now, and now seems like a good, as good a time as any to let it out of the bag. And I call it uh, the lean logo formula. And uh, what brought me to this conclusion is when you look at our heat transfer decorating technologies, there are really four key categories, which re we reviewed um, last week. There is heat transfer vinyl, there is screen printed transfers, there is print cut, digital transfers, and there is a new category, which I am super excited about called digital screen printed transfers. And so the reason I am so jacked up on digital screen printed transfers is because it combines what everybody likes about screen printed transfers with that um, being able to do fine detail, uh, being able to have it done for me and just finish it with the heat press, not having to weed with the best of full color in digital printing, which means being able to do multicolor logos all on a single layer uh, without layering. And so screen printed transfers traditionally require you to burn a screen for each color, and it starts to get really costly as you go into the three and four colors. And so then you have to try to flip to print cut and then basically it just gets complex with detail and all the restrictions. And so. I think digital screen printed transfers present a fantastic case for you to consolidate the majority of your decoration jobs that just need a basic finish at 20 pieces or more. And I'm going to uh, explain to you why actually 25 is how I've modeled this formula. And I'm going to explain to you why. But before I go into the calculation and, and maybe hopefully not confuse some of you if I'm trying to going to keep it as simple as possible, I want to show you what these digital screen printed transfers look like. And I'm going to start with the back. So this is uh, a product that we have out of Transfer Express. It's called Stretch Litho Mat. It is a digital screen printed transfer. So the back of this transfer is printed with screen printing ink. It's 11 and a half by 18 inch sheet. So there is a lot of real estate for you to group up multiple jobs per sheet. We call this gang sheeting. Now, if you look close, you'll see that there is a lot of fine detail um, in these prints, things that you would never want to weed or potentially be capable of weeding. So a lot of different effects. And what's beautiful about this is when you turn it around, look at all the color. And so this is where we get the digital aspect of it. And so 
the idea that I can group completely unrelated logos onto one sheet and order them at once for the same cost per sheet. Now, let me explain what that means. Basically, you can take customer A, group their job with customer B, group their job with customer C and D. As long as you can fit those logos on one sheet and you can order them at a set quantity, say quantities of 25 or 50, et cetera. So you wanna kinda think about this forward and base your minimums and your price grids off of this. You can know that, hey, if I can get at least two orders at 25 pieces a day or every other day, I can put those logos on a sheet together and I can place an order through this uh, digital screen printed transfer called Stretch Lithomat. And what that means, it's gonna drive a ton of savings. So I usually like to say, uh, you wanna limit your design space. You have an 11 and a half by 18 inch sheet. So I recommend nine by 11 and a half being your standard print size. And that's not too far off from a full front size uh, that you see on most garments that are out there in the market. And certainly when you talk about left chest designs and you talk about, um, logos on bags and, and youth shirts and lady shirts, things of that nature, you're probably gonna be even smaller um, than that. So it's really interesting uh, what you're able to do um, with this product. But before I go um, too deep there, I wanna make sure everybody understands this is a digital screen printed transfer. We are screen printing and we are digital printing all in one logo. And that gives us the ability to do uh, multicolor. I say full color usually, but I think multicolor is an important point. So even if it's a, like a two or three color logo like you're seeing here, uh, I would recommend you drop that on the sheet. It doesn't have to be uh, four colors or more. And so um, that product from Transfer Express is called Stretch Litho Matte. And uh, once we come out of this thing, uh, we will be launching new digital screen printed transfer formulas that even get softer than that or have special features like dye blocking for those of you that are in the sports market. Um, but Stretch Litho Matte as it sits today, and we're gonna press some of these logos, applies at 275 degrees for just 11 to 15 seconds. So before I go deep into a calculator, um, this is called making it together. So I wanna make sure I continue to make stuff. Um, let's head over to our heat press. Let me clear a little bit of space here and show you how this works. So I'll be a dog on a chain, so to speak for this, but I think my chain is long enough to reach everything I need to. I'm gonna grab uh, some scissors and you would order this sheet just like this, and then you would start to trim apart your designs. So I'm gonna trim them just really quick on the table. And the design I'm gonna pick out is the color run uh, design. So keep in mind any of your customers events that maybe have been canceled, I would recommend seeing if you can set up an online store for them uh, through Spirit Sale. Um, or whatever uh, e-commerce platform you're using and um, offer to set up an online store for them for free so they can still get support for their event and sell customized apparel. I'm working with my Hotronix Auto Clam. I'm gonna swap out the platen. You guys that have watched our videos know this process. Uh, same thing, this changing the platen is extremely important. Gonna move my 16 by 20 to the side and I'm gonna use my 11 by 15 for this particular job. After that, I have my heat press set to 275 degrees. I'm gonna start with the preheat and I'm going to adjust my pressure. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise to adjust my pressure to lighten it. Uh, it's a little bit too light. Turn it clockwise and I'm looking to be somewhere around the five pressure. Now, again, I've been using this heat press for five years. It's needed no maintenance. Uh, it's the Hotronics Auto Clam, other than just wiping uh, and cleaning the top heater. Uh, for that, you can use an industrial hand cleaner like a Gojo. Uh, just make sure you're using something non-abrasive. Um, of course, if it's hot when you're wiping it, be very careful. I usually recommend trying to wipe it when it's cooled down first or just slightly warm. Uh, the garment that I'm going to be pressing is a sport tech garment. It's a 100% polyester sport tech garment. Um, it has a really cool effect to it. Now, the cool thing about this is... Um, stretch litho applies down at 275 degrees. And so that's gonna give me the ability to hit all of my lower temp uh, applications. And so I'm loading this and I'm just making sure this seam structures off. This threadability is nice because it's a racer back style, means seams aren't gonna print through and cause uneven pressure or mark up my print. I'm gonna start with just a preheat. Um, this is helping to warm my base platen as well. 
After that's warmed up, my garment's preheated, I'm going to position my design. Again, stretch litho mat, positioning it into place. I'm pressing upside down. Um, position it. This is a little bit deeper uh, neckline, so I'm going to position the design a little closer uh, to where that uh, neckline is. Stretch litho mat comes with a cover sheet in the box when you get your order from Transfer Express. Cover it up. And then I'm going to heat apply for the 11 to 15 seconds at a medium pressure. So uh, Laura asked on a future show, I would love to see how the Color Run logo on that sheet was created. Great. Thank you for that feedback. Um, is Stretch Litho Mat a good choice for gradient design? So Stretch Litho Mat is a great choice for any design. So it doesn't matter if it's uh, photo quality, um, single color even, if you're grouping it with other jobs and running this formula that I'm about to show you. Um, it really makes a lot of sense. And so I'm going to remove this. The one thing about Stretch Litho Mat, it is a cold peel. So I'm going to set this to the side and let it cool down. Um, actually, I think I can reach the wall. I'm just going to hold it to a wall. This isn't an outside wall where it'd be a little bit cooler, but that just helps to pull it, cool it down so I can peel it for you just a little bit quicker. And while that's finishing cooling down, I'm going to take a look and see what other questions we have. All right. So uh, same, Marla asked another question about the color run design and how it was created. How do you do ombre colors, et cetera? Or was it a custom design? So I believe this was a custom design, but I appreciate the feedback. And I will um, talk a little bit about art setup on a future show. I know we have some training that Jenna's planning on our free design software called CADWorks Live that'll really help you about that. Uh, Ramirez says, I can't wait to try some stretch litho mat. You got to try it. Uh, the cool thing is Transfer Express does uh, free samples on their website, so we'll be able to share that link with you. Um, need to open Transfer Express in Canada, be better on pricing and shipping for Mike. Yeah, we need to do, we need to open a Transfer Express in every state is my vote. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we, we do ship from East and West Coast right now in the U.S. Um, and earlier Mike asked, can you layer SimStitch on SimStitch? And the answer is yes, definitely can. Um, also, SimStitch is one of those products that we are going to recommend for um, the heated lower platen. Um, you can definitely apply it with top heat, but if you're doing a polyester that may scorch, it requires a fair amount of heat. I believe it's 350 degrees for about 20, 25 seconds. Um, and so we are working on testing to have settings for the lower platen so you can get to that adhesive uh, quicker. So thanks, uh, Danielle, for sharing the links from our stall's Facebook page for the stretch litho mat transfers, as well as our Facebook group. We'd encourage you to join there. Um, once the transfer is completed, I'm going to cold peel it. So don't worry about if you hear that noise, it is a cold peel. So it's gonna be gripping a little bit tighter to the edge, but once you peel it, um, it looks great and it is nice and soft. So um, one thing is when stretch litho mat is manufactured, it has just a very small uh, clear outline. Now, when you cold peel it, if uh, for some reason you start to visually see that clear outline, it looks almost frosted you can always throw that shirt back on the heat press and finish it just for five seconds to kind of sink that clear outline back into the edge. Now it's durable uh, on your single step application, but I like to, you know, sometimes apply it again, helps to just give a better finished result. And so here is our finished result, the color run. Again, I was trying for a tone on tone look. Um, I like the way that that looks overall and it feels great on the garment. This is uh, stretch litho mat. And so again, that original design I showed you, and I've already trimmed two logos off of it, had uh, one, two, three, four, six logos all on one sheet, all different colors, all for different jobs. We're gonna press a couple of those in a moment, but I promised you uh, a new formula that I call the Lean Logo Formula. And so I wanna walk you through that. So with that, let me try to share my screen. All right. So over on uh, the screen here, you'll see transferexpress.com. I'll bring that into a full view for you. Um, to get to Stretch Litho Mat, you need to go to transfers. You'll go to heat transfers on transferexpress.com and it's grouped under full color. So once you click full color transfers, you'll see Stretch Litho Mat right here. You'll also see info about our upcoming ultra color transfers, which are in the same sort of category. Um, and when you click on that, you'll be able to download the full pricing sheet. Now I've downloaded the pricing sheet already. So let me open that for you. And you can see how the pricing works. 
So um, you can get as little as five sheets if you're ordering the full sheet. It is pretty expensive at five sheets, but if you can fit six logos up, that's about $4 a logo for perspective. But I would really aim to get to the 10 to 20 sheet range. As I mentioned earlier in the show, that 20, 25 sheets seems to be a good target get point where you're actually getting the price down uh, to something that you can be extremely profitable with. Um, even if I had several orders for 25 and one order for 15, I would order the 25 sheets and just have extras. But you can see the pricing here. Again, you'll see no uh, reference for number of colors because it's the same price regardless of the number of colors in the sheet. So group multicolor logos, uh, single color logos, full color logos all on one sheet. It's going to make a lot of sense. And you can see you can start to save once you get quantity because the cost of us to back it with the screen printing ink goes down as quantity goes up. And so I wanted you to have some semblance of that because this is a lot here and I'm gonna walk you through step by step. So let me zoom so we're looking at the parts I want to show you. So um, first off, I call this uh, the Lean Logo formula. It's powered by digital screen printed transfers. This is something that was kind of work in process, but I buttoned it up just to show it this morning. Um, and maybe you can help me develop this um, as we go through. So first off, um, what I did is I'm pretending I'm a business selling out and going trying to chase down new business with this product at my disposal. First, you'll see I simplified the quantity breaks. So I have 25, 50, 100, and 150 piece quantities. This is so I can drive all customers into similar order quantities if possible, if possible, because I am going out and I am marketing this um, as an offering to companies that would be uh, interested. And that can be any trade, anybody that has a logo. Keep in mind, uh, Transfer Express doesn't charge you art setup fees, which I love. So you can upload a logo from a client that has a custom logo for say a landscaping uh, company and the artwork's included. You can group that landscaping company with a construction company with a restaurant and your setup for all three pieces of art is included in that price that I showed you. So that's awesome. So those are my quantities. Next, I put the price of a full sheet. Now you'll notice my price of a full sheet here is slightly higher than what Transfer Express's price to me was. That's because I've already averaged in Transfer Express's $12 flat rate shipping on how much it's gonna cost to get those sheets to me, okay? And so this includes the freight cost to get them into my door. Naturally, if I order multiple orders a day, this will go down, but I wanted to do a worst case scenario. Next, again, I'm gonna choke down my size to a half sheet. So I'm gonna do the nine by 11 and a half. And you'll see this is basically just my full sheet divided by two. So I'm going to say that's going to be worst case scenario on how much that customer's logo is going to cost me. That's going to go onto the T-shirt. And of course, if I, if I can fit more than two up, that cost is going to go way down per logo. So you'll see the total cost of the full front uh, design. That includes the cost of the transfer, as well as the cost of the blank, as well as the cost of my labor to heat apply it. Now, what it doesn't include is overhead. So keep in mind, that's gonna be separate. Um, it doesn't include the overhead. And yes, I will share this uh, spreadsheet out once I clean it up a little bit, um, but I definitely will share that out in the coming day or so. And so you get the idea here. So let's just say with the value T, the half sheet, which is a nine by 11 print, um, as well as the labor, which I calculated at a minute to heat apply is uh, 642. Um, next, your selling price. And I think the set selling price uh, and having a grid is really important because you walk in with customers knowing. Now, many of you um, can, can charge a lot more than this. Uh, with the state of the economy that we're in, I think you're best to try to do things uh, profitable, but as cost effective as possible. So now may be a time, um, I don't wanna say the lead with price, but to consider uh, price and how you can lessen the burden on your customers to drive work and volume uh, into your shop. So let's just say the price is $12.99 if you order 25. And so that means a customer can get 25 shirts for $324, 50 shirts for $550, et cetera. You notice I like to use nines in my pricing. Um, I've done a lot of studying on this and there's something psychological on using nines at the end of the pricing. We don't know why, but it just results in more sales. So. I'll just roll with it and would suggest you do too. Um, 
Next, I'm going to show the gross profit. Um, that means the profit without overhead, um, just with my manufacturing labor in there. Um, again, all my manufacturing labor is, is heat applying. And I'm going to see that it's 658 um, per garment. And then gross profit for the job is $164. Again, I'm estimating my print time at a minute per shirt or 25 minutes. Um, so it gives you the the idea there. And then, of course, you need to figure out, um, I like to drive it back per uh, a profit per minute uh, to my shop if I'm able to fill all of my time uh, with work like this or all one of my employees' time that I've sent home with the heat press to do the heat pressing work while I do the sales and marketing and set up the stores. We need to figure out if you own a business, you should be able, you should be working on how you can deploy uh, remotely and continue to service business uh, from home or from multiple connected homes. That's going to be uh, the new economy for the next 60 days, I believe, for us in, in many states. Um, and then, of course, the, the freight costs because you're going to need to ship it to somebody, um, presumably. So hopefully you understand uh, kind of where we're going with this. And so I think this is the nice thing is if I can sell a job for 50 shirts, which is a really um, nice quantity, I'm going to make uh, about 300 bucks in gross profit back to my business. Now, um, here's what I want to point out to you. This is your advantage over uh, the traditional screen printing process. And so when we are thinking about um, heat transfers as a fulfillment method period, whether it's stretch litho mat or heat transfer vinyl or any basic screen printed transfer, your advantage is once I have this logo, right? This logo, whatever the logo is, I can put this logo on whatever I want just by repositioning that item on the heat press. And that's important because typically in screen printing, this logo has to be the in the right location on the screen or I need to burn another one to be able to drag it through. So a heat press business's advantage is being able to say, hey, as long as it's the same logo, the same size, you can change the items that you're printing in the location. And what I mean is this, let's take a look back at the spreadsheet. At the 50 piece quantity, if I'm going to sell to a construction company, I can say, you know what? You can get my pricing. Um, of course, this is the economy T sale price. I'm gonna sell you the other, show you the other stuff. But you can get my pricing if you only have 20 people on your staff. You know what? How about ordering 15 T-shirts, right? Basic value tees, 15 snag resistant performance tees, which is a style from Sanmar that's gonna be a little bit more durable for you. And uh, 15 hoodies or long sleeve tees, right? And then you get five extra uh, transfers, which I can kind of hold for you. If you hire somebody new, we can print it to order. So the idea that I can hit quantity breaks across multiple SKUs and items is a huge advantage. So I put that as number one under my important ideas, the idea that a customer can bundle and save to get to the quantity. So same design, same size, add your quantities of apparel together to be able to get to your quantity break. Also, make it an online store. Your employees need to order remotely, whatever it may be. Um, I'm gonna charge a surcharge for that because I'm gonna be doing the store setup. So I can roll that into the item. And just in case they don't um, sell anything um, or decide to cancel, I can charge a $50 non-refundable deposit for the store setup just to make sure I'm covering my time. And so, this is, uh, this is the formula. I'm gonna show you the pricing on these other items here in a second, but before I confuse you with that, I'm just gonna scroll down and cover uh, one more point. I want you to look over here to the left side. Um, what I did is calculate the available minutes per an eight hour heat press shift. So if I'm doing the heat pressing and I'm gonna be working for eight hours, um, here's my available capacity and how much I can sell through and how much I can make. So eight times 60 is 540 minutes in a uh, heat press work day. Even if I sell that, fill that with 20% uh, utilization of that capacity, I'm making a total profit per day of nearly $600 at 20 months or 20 days in a working month. That's a profit per month of 12 grand, profit per year of 142 grand. So my point is um, right now, the reason I want to show that is because I think you should be going an inch wide in a mile deep if that makes sense to you. Um, you could try to sell a whole bunch of different things at this time, but I think it's important for a business right now with the state that we're in, and even when we come out of it, um, to get very focused on what you wanna sell, what drives profit and helps you make the number, and uh, where are there 
their available customers. And so you could very easily deploy this right now to the trades that are still buying. So your life sustaining businesses and you can go to any governor's announcement in any state and get a list of those that are allowed to be open and that would be my prospect list. And I would set up a brochure specifically tailored uh, to those prospects. I would reach out, I would try to drum up business or if you're one of the businesses, it's okay to use this for a time for planning. I would think about when we come out of this, how am I gonna deploy this or whatever strategy you come up with to be able to go an inch wide, a mile deep, uh, very simple on product, very simple on who is my target customer and go ahead and grow. And so um, these are just some concepts I wanted to share with you that hopefully help you. And again, um, change this daily capacity. If you can sell more, let's say I can fill 50% of my available day and you can start to see, you can get into some really good profit numbers. And again, I think a great strategy for this, um, if I were doing this, what I would be doing is I would be setting up heat presses um, with different operators, um, perhaps um, stay-at-home mom, something like that, training them and basically saying, hey, here's how much I can pay you for a heat application. I'm going to put a press um, in your house. You just need to have the space for it. And here's how we're going to make money. It's lean. It doesn't require rent. It doesn't require overhead uh, for me with labor. If, if I don't have orders, they're just not working. I'm paying per piece at a contract rate. And so hopefully you get the concept here. This is uh, what I call the lean logo. Uh, fulfillment uh, formula it just gives you a way to kind of uh, manage cost, be very simple in approach, um, and be very profitable with what you do. Okay, so that's a lot. So I'm going to take a look at some questions here to see what questions we may have. Um, so Carolyn asked early on, does it have to be five duplicate sheets? So the answer is yes. With digital screen printed transfers, uh, when you are manufacturing this sheet of which I've cut a couple designs out of if you missed that part. Um, the design has to be the same because we're burning the screen and backing the logos in the same location. So you, that's why I said group your jobs and try to get 10, 20, 25 um, as, as your pricing breaks. That's why you're driving it from the pricing breaks up front to be able to get that. Um, next question is, are you guys giving out the spreadsheet? Yes, I'll make sure we make it available. I'm glad you guys are liking this. Uh, great idea on set charging for the store setup. Yeah, I think it's important to charge for your work um, and, and make it a deposit that can be applied uh, to orders or refunded once you hit a certain level because everybody thinks their store is gonna do so great, right? And then you spend all this time setting it up, making all those changes, um, and then you know you sell. $50, $60 where the person that wanted all the changes buys a few shirts and that's it. Um, I know many of you have been through that. So I think it's important to charge for your work up front, whether that is art setup, um, design, store setup, et cetera. Um, Karen, you cannot obtain a glitter look with stretch litho. So stretch litho is just the finish that it is. Um, and so it's just a base screen printed transfer. It does have a digital um, look. Uh, capability and a really soft feel. So let's press something else in stretch litho. And I'm going to look back and take your questions. I'm um, going to take this small design, this greenhouse contracting and cut it off here. And let's head back to the heat press. Uh, you do, you would use the cover sheet uh, when you heat press your design a second time if you choose to. Um, I'm on the 11 by 15 press. I'm going to press this uh, jacket. If you can sell jackets and polos and items with left chest logos, it has a premium on the blank, which I'm going to show you on the spreadsheet before we conclude. Um, but it really doesn't cost you a lot per logo because there's always that extra space. So if you can incentivize customers to bundle their t-shirt order um, and add some polos, it's like free space to you. So it's awesome. And uh, when I first bought my heat press, I just had the press and the caddy. Um, I only picked two platens to go with it. I chose the 11 by 15 inch, which we just used uh, for the slim cut shirt. I use that all the time for like the back of track jackets and youth shirts and, and lady shirts, those sorts of things. And this six by 10 inch platen. So if you're on a budget when you're buying your heat press or you just want the bare essentials, um, what we call the minimum viable product, uh, 16 by 20 press, 11 by 15 attachment, six by 10 attachment. And then when I do sleeve prints and leg prints, I just use a pillow that inserts inside of those prints, which restricts me a bit on using screen printed transfers, but does help me um, when I'm using CAD cut heat transfer vinyl, those sorts of things. I'm gonna rotate this platen 90 degrees. 
I'm going to go for a left chest print, which means I'm going to slightly unzip it and load it on to get to that print area. Now, anytime you are changing your platen to a smaller press surface, um, you need to reduce your pressure or make sure you at least accurately adjust your pressure. Um, again, platen changes require adjustments, but I don't need as much pressure on that six by 10 platen that I needed on the standard 16 by 20 surface. So I'm gonna take my print. This is uh, greenhouse contracting. Look at that small text, all those fine designs that you would never wanna weed out. Position it onto my shirt. One of the most difficult things is hitting that placement once you load your shirt on. So if you're doing a lot of these, it may make sense to go ahead and um, lay your shirts out uh, completely on a table or floor or workspace um, and be able to mark the center of that print location with a piece of uh, thermal tape. That way when you load it, you have a point of reference. I usually like to pinch this top shoulder uh, where the collar is and the center of my design should be centered on that top shoulder. Um, and it should be about seven inches down uh, from that top shoulder point to the center of the design. And of course that always varies depending on uh, depending on the design dimensions that you're doing, whether it's extremely um, long or wide, um, et cetera. So again, Stretch Litho Matte is the product I'm applying. Um, takes 11 to 15 seconds. I'm working with the auto open clamshell heat press. Uh, this is a digital screen printed transfer. I'm gonna let it cool completely down uh, before I peel the backing. So I'm just gonna remove the jacket that I just pressed. This is an Ogeo jacket, so it's a really premium jacket, but I think this is a really uh, premium result uh, that you're getting here on your garment. I'm broadcasting to you live. This is our Making It Together session out of my home in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, which is the southwest corner of Pennsylvania. Um, we are now work from home status. Um, however, we do have heat presses in our other warehouses, so we're still shipping those. We're still shipping screen printed transfers out of all of our locations, and we're still shipping heat transfer vinyl uh, for today out of all of our locations, and I believe tomorrow from Michigan and Arizona um, based on the county that we're in in Texas. Uh, yeah, Sharon, that's a great idea. Thanks for sharing. She uses a piece of chalk and marks a dot on the center. Awesome tip. Thank you. All right. Um, da -da -da -da. Adam, thank you for the comment on the audio. I was a little bit worried because I'm operating on Wi-Fi here, um, but I went ahead and kicked my uh, daughter off of all of her live streaming surfaces for right now. Um, so she'll be a little bit grumpy from 11 to noon, um, but I'm glad we're able to bring really quality um, sessions still out, even out of a bedroom. Good, I'm glad you, uh, Rosemary likes the idea about printing a blob of color with stretch litho mat that you can cut with your vinyl cutter uh, to personalize. So this would be another good example. So on this stretch litho mat sheet, basically what I'm, what I did is you could just put a blob like a, I don't know, we could call it, what is that? Maybe six by four inch blob um, on your sheet, just in white or whatever color you want. And then you could cut whoever the employee name is that's gonna go on the right chest for greenhouse contracting, right? So you can have their name because once you flood a space of this stretch litho mat with a blob of ink, whatever color you want it to be, you can actually cut that on your vinyl cutter and weed it, which is so cool, I think. Um, again, once this is cooled, I'm gonna peel the backing. And then I have my, I can never get that part right, holding it in front of the camera. Uh, completed result. So really soft, um, really nice uh, completed result. This is stretch litho mat. Now let's show you exactly what the cost was uh, per logo um, on that sheet. And so that's right here. Uh, scroll a little bit over for you. On my six up sample cost, if I would have ordered 25 sheets of that particular logo, um, I'm sorry, of that particular sheet with those six designs, it would have only cost me $1.36. Uh, per logo. So again, the name of the game is ganging. You have to um, have specific sizes that you're merchandising to your customers. So you're making your uh, best possible case to fit multiples up. Nine by 11 should be your full front size. You can even do a half sheet from there that is um, six by four, whatever it may be, as long as their logo uh, fits in the box, um, you should be good there. So this is my lean logo uh, formula with stretch litho mat, digital screen printed transfers. Hopefully you've learned something from this particular topic and I'm gonna come back out here and take a look at some more questions. 
So Adam asks, how often will, will I be making videos? So I can say I'll definitely be coming weekdays at 11 a.m. Eastern for this Making It Together session, and we'll be bringing you new content every day. Uh, once I get my vinyl cutter hooked up uh, on my work computer, which I'm broadcasting from, I have a really cool concept that I want to show you, uh, which is pressing flock onto uh, stuffed animals and talk about some sales opportunities for that. So I'm looking uh, forward to that. Um, and then who knows, uh, I know Jenna has a similar setup at her home. Um, she'll be going live, uh, occasionally throughout the week. And if I have something to say, or you guys have questions, I may go live in the afternoon or in the evening. We'll see how this things work. This works now that I have it in my setup and I can just walk in, never know, uh, when we'll go live. Uh, Cheryl asks any update on the delivery of the 360 IQ hat presses. So, um, I don't, I can tell you what I knew a few days ago, uh, before Pennsylvania, where we have our Hotronics facility hit hit the update. And that was that we were hoping to um, start shipping um, new orders. We were out into July. If you've already placed your order or were in that really early group, we were hoping to ship those um, in the month of May, but I'm gonna have to get an update on that and I'll make sure we come back uh, to you all. So questions are any specials uh, Santosh asked that question on the platins coming up. Um, I don't know that I have a special on the platin, but I do have some specials that I want to show you for those of you that may be looking to um, invest uh, in equipment during this time or even some other products, which I'll walk you through. So this is something new. All you have to do is call our customer service teams. They're still open at these 800 numbers, whether that's Transfer Express or Stalls. We have a special on the 16 by 16 version of the auto open clam that I'm using here today. We have a special on the 16 by 20. This is the exact model I have. The only difference is we do the counter stand versus the freestanding uh, caddy. You can always talk to customer service and upgrade to the freestanding caddy. These are our trade show specials. And so since we had the events canceled and you guys won't be able to travel to events, we decided to launch these show specials nationally. So they're really great savings. Um, so all of our heat presses are on there, but it's also more than just heat presses. We have 15% off pre-cut letters and numbers from both Stalls and Transfer Express. If you want to use this time to try something or even stock up um, for fall sports. Um, we also have uh, specials on the vinyl cutter. Um, this Graph Tech cutter is tremendous because um, we've bundled in a ton of material. I think it's five or $600 worth of material um, for very little cost. Uh, basically you're paying for the cutter and the easy weeder and you're getting um, all of this extra material in fashion film, thermal film and glitter flake uh, without any additional cost. So if you're looking for a vinyl cutter, that's a great uh, thing to do. Um, we have a free shipping promo code from Stalls on orders over $199. I'm going to really suggest that you stock up in your vinyl uh, color so you can continue to produce product from home um, as a worst case scenario. Uh, do it in your core colors, silver and gold glitter, white, black, red, royal, and your basic uh, heat transfer vinyl brand, whatever that may be, um, and use this shipping code. Uh, right now, I'd recommend you get that stock in right away. And then we're doing a special on our marketing kit, which we've been giving away the marketing kit each day. Um, we're at a little bit of a pause uh, for that based on us having to switch locations, but I'm going to start um, a new giveaway. Uh, tomorrow. So congrats to those that have won marketing kits, um, but we are running a special. Anybody that wants this marketing kit, it's a great way to try screen printed transfers, including the stretch litho mat that I just showed you. It's on the Transfer Express website for $35 with uh, $12 flat rate shipping. So hopefully this gives you an idea um, on everything that, that you can do, some tips. And again, um, I'm gonna stay and take a couple more questions, but I want you to look forward to a survival guide that I wrote over the weekend for apparel decorators and collaborated with a lot of our team members in creating. It's gonna give you tips on what to do now and what to do next, some ideas uh, to come out of this thing uh, stronger. And then a lot of our content um, in the coming days after we publish that will uh, be feeding uh, from that. And so I'm loaded up with projects here. We will not run short of content. We will keep broadcasting live. Um, I would encourage you in order to form this content, um, our team just shared a link um, in the stream on Facebook that is our survey called Making It Together. I don't have the fancy graphic to flash up yet, but if you look for that link and click on that survey, it's through surveymonkey.com. It's four questions. 
uh, fill it out. And the fourth question is, what do you want to see in these broadcasts? And if we can do it, if we can bring it to you, um, we're going to do it to help you out in your business. Um, I'll stay on and answer uh, some of these questions. For those of you that have to go back to uh, print jobs, feel free to uh, do them and stick around for about five minutes and take some questions. All right, so Adam asked, can I explain the difference between ordering from Stalls or Transfer Express? I was confused why two different sites were used. So Group Stall is the parent company that um, runs both Stalls and Transfer Express, which are two different divisions. So Transfer Express is our screen printed transfer manufacturing division. Um, you can buy from them on transferexpress.com. So that's where you would get screen printed transfers or digital screen printed transfers. Whereas Stalls is more of our uh, vinyl supply and specialty product. So applique type things like the SimStitch, um, rolls of heat transfer vinyl. Uh, we even cut designs out of treat heat transfer vinyl for you so you don't have to cut and weed that you just have to apply. So just two different divisions, stalls.com, transferexpress.com, uh, two different categories, but we work close together. And the sales team, which I'm on, represents both brands. Um, so Santosh asks, how's my brother, Zach? Haven't seen him in a while. I was just texting him this morning. Um, so he's running one of our manufacturing divisions here in Pennsylvania. So he has his hands full uh, right now, uh, servicing some of our clients in what we call our commercial space, where we do the licensed uh, decoration for like the NBA, the NFL, et cetera. So um, he's doing well, however. Um, uh, we just shared the link for samples uh, for those of you that are looking for those from stalls.com as well. And it looks like I have most of the questions answered. However, now I remember one thing I promised to show you that I didn't. So I'm going to spend the last four minutes showing you uh, that. And that is our Easy View uh, designer. So when you go on to transferexpress.com, you can go into what's called the Design Center. And when you click on this Design Center, when you're logged in, you click Start Designing. And that will drop you into Easy View, which is a free online designer that will allow you to upload um, your artwork. And so in this case, I wanted to show you a sample job on how we would group at least two, in this case, three different logos. So when you come into Easy View, basically you can build from a layout. So pick whatever layout it is that you want. It will drop onto the screen. Then you can size and change any element of that layout as well. So if you wanted to size it down for like a left chest print, uh, you can do that. You can change the color of the entire thing uh, to whatever it is you want. You can change the text. So if it wasn't Compton Bay and it was something else, enter that. Change it from pickleball, change the clip art. So, you know, change the individual color of the elements of your design. And of course, because I'm designing with uh, stretch litho mat, you'll see um, it's not updating uh, the cost at all. There's no additional cost. Even with this full color photographic um, image of a dog, you're not getting any cost uh, changes. So this will show you kind of the variety of work that you can do when you're working with stretch litho mat. The main thing that you wanna make sure is that you can fit all of that work on a sheet. So size your designs, group them together. Um, once you're doing this, fill up all of your space with designs and it will update your price as it's moving along. So again, six colors doesn't matter. If I go from 20 sheets up to 50 sheets, you'll see the price will update for me. I'm not that quick at math, so let me go to 100 sheets. And I can see it's going to cost me four fifty a sheet for everything I have here. This is free space. Fill it up. And so this is the Easy View Designer. It's a great place to um, design in uh, to buy screen printed transfers. You're not going to be able to export artwork or anything like that, but it get, will give you a way where you can uh, design. This is um, an eleven and a half by eighteen inch sheet. You'll see it represented here. Uh, we do have other ink formulas if you just want single color designs, but Based on the theme of this episode, I wanted to show you stretch litho mat and how you can group things up. Color doesn't matter. Quantity drives price. Um, and it will help you. It'll help you be profitable. and It'll help you grow your business. So hopefully the quality of this was all right, at least. Hopefully it was good. Um, I want to thank all of you who joined. I think I saw the numbers over 100 today. So maybe there's something to it here with broadcasting from the home, or maybe you're just all home watching. Uh, but either way, I want to thank you for coming on to our Making It Together live educational event. We'll be broadcasting to you again 
at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So make sure you complete that survey that was shared uh, and share your ideas for what you want to see. And we will draw from those completed surveys, uh, surveys for a giveaway at some frequency. If we can't give away stuff tomorrow, we'll save it all up. I'll print all the surveys and we'll give a bunch of stuff away Friday, but we'll make sure that we uh, continue along with that. So again, thank you and have a great rest of your day.